Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you all are having an amazing week. My week has been going well. Just wanted to make a video about something that I think would be valuable to you, um, whether you're new or looking to get started, even, even seasoned notary loan signing agents. So as a notary loan signing agent, you're going to deal with difficult signings and difficult signers. And I'll explain to you what I mean by that. And obviously if you've been doing this business, you already know uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, but diff difficult signings in the sense that the environment in which you're trying to do the signing in is difficult. In other words, the, the location that you're trying to do the signing, uh, whether it be you're doing a signing outside or you're doing a signing in some house with you know kids running around and kind of being a distraction or or animals that aren't you know behaving um you know or just less than ideal uh circumstances under which you have to you know do a signing but then there's also <clears throat> difficult signers now difficult signers can be you know readers you know people that take their precious time walking through every line of every single document trying to figure out um, and make sure that they're not being scammed. And I totally understand, you know, people want to do their due diligence and understand what exactly they're they're putting their signature on. Uh, but also you have signers that maybe have never done a refinance or a loan modification or whatever the type of transaction is. And they're just generally apprehensive. They're apprehensive about you. They're apprehensive about how their information is being handled or what the documents are asking for. It could be a lot of different things, you know. So, but as a notary loan signing agent, you have to be able to deal with difficult signings and difficult signers. That's just the nature of this business. And one 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 thing I found that, you know, I, I try to always, uh, you know, lean on is the fact that you have to remain calm. You have to remain poised. You almost have to not be, uh, you know, cold. Um, it's, it's, it's nice to be nice and friendly and kind, but you have to not be affected by difficult signings and difficult signers. Um, you have to be a professional. And that means not allowing the signer or the signing location to, to shake you or move you. You have to remain poised. So all that was an intro to tell you a story about a signing I did last night, which was both, I would say, kind of a difficult signing and a difficult signer. So it was a husband and a wife and the father of the wife. The husband and wife were coming from uh, about an hour away. They were coming to their dad's house to do the signing. All three of their names were on uh, the specific property that the husband and the wife lived in, which is an hour away. The signing location was only about 15 minutes from me. But all three of their names were on the signing and it was a refinance with a, uh, with a deed, with a quit claim deed. So the property was being transferred from the husband, the wife, and the dad to just the husband and the wife. The father, the dad was, was an older gentleman, right? So we meet at where the dad lives now, like I said, which is 15 minutes away from me. And I knew kind of going in that this, this signing was gonna be a little, little difficult just because I kind of gauged that from the personality of, of the signer when I talked to her on the phone. <laughs> so that's the first thing, you know, sometimes you'll talk to people and you kind of get a real sense for if someone is going to be difficult. And I was spot on with what I what I thought was gonna be the case. So we get there and the, the father's old. Um, she wanted to do the signing um, outside, um, at least for her and her husband's part. But obviously the signing the, with the dad, we had to be inside. So she didn't wanna do the whole signing inside because she didn't want, she wanted as little external exposure i.e. from me or from a stranger to to her dad. So she's trying to protect her dad. I get it, right? It's a pandemic. 
Uh, but inside the house, you know, we, we did the dad's part of the signing, which was basically the deed and the transfer documents, which was only about, you know, four or five pages that he actually had to look at and, and sign. And I had to, to notarize, but we were basically in a living room. The, the father wasn't, uh, he was very coherent, but he just had trouble hearing. So, you know, the daughter had to yell at him. Everything I said, she had to repeat it and like had to yell at him so that he could hear. And I made sure that he understood what was happening in the transaction, like that he understood that a property was being transferred. Um, so I was, I went in knowing that I was gonna be dealing with someone who was a little older, i.e. the dad, and that, you know, there may be not something funny going on. I didn't think there would be something funny going on, but I knew I would have to take an extra measure or extra step to just make sure he understood what was happening. So I just asked a few questions like, you know, does he, does, does dad understand what's going on? I kind of observed him and looked at him to make sure that he was like, he was, you know, prepared for what was happening. And he was, he was fully cooperative. He didn't seem like he was under some uh, medication or, or under any sort of, um, you know, under any influence of anything. So he, he seemed fine. So I felt, I felt comfortable, comfortable to, to proceed with, with doing everything. So we signed his portion in the living room, basically on a coffee table. I had the package kind of split up in a way so that his part could be done first and then we could do the rest of it, you know, with, without the father outside the house. But still the, the environment in the living room, sitting in on, on a chair and with their little coffee table, it, it was not very conducive to being organized, to being able to, you know, just, it, it was just not ideal. It was kind of an uncomfortable signing in the sense of being able to like flow the way I like to flow when I do a signing. So we knocked out the, the dad's part then we took the other two parts of the package outside. And I knew she, like I said, I knew she wanted to do, you know, the, the majority of the signing outside the part without the dad, because, you know, she, she mentioned that. And so I had bought a little folding table just in case uh, she had some sort of bootleg <laughs> setup because she was like, yeah, we could just do it, you know, on the, on the, in the hatch of my truck. And so I'm like, okay, but I didn't trust what she said. I bought a little table and I had, you know, a couple little chairs in my car that I would, I was just prepared just in case that, you know, her setup that she thought would work, wouldn't work seeing how we're signing a hundred plus pages. So I ended up not needing to use all of that. We ended up outside, um, on signing basically in the back of her SUV she popped the, the hood. Mind you, it's like seven o'clock at night, probably 30 something degrees. And we're, we're outside, I'm standing up. Um, I'm obviously bundled up, gloves, everything, the whole nine, but we're signing on the, in the back of her, on the back of her truck, me, her, and, and, and her husband. So she had, you know, the light on to the car, which, you know, which helped. I had also bought a little portable lamp with me just in case, like I said, her setup was bootleg. I ended up needing to use that a little bit, but my point is I went into the signing prepared for whatever might happen. At least I thought I, 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 I tried to. So it was, I've done signings outside uh, and I've done signings on the trunk of my car. Uh, mostly like little loan modification packages, which are like 20 pages. You know, you can knock those out very quickly. So I've done that on the trunk of my car. I've never done a full-fledged signing. Um, actually I have, I have done a couple of full-fledged signings, refis outside, but I've done them on like people's decks with, you know, outside on their patio table and furniture, stuff like that. But this one, you know, we, we did in the, on the back of her truck a full, a full signing. So obviously you have to explain every document. She was kind of going line by line through a lot of the stuff, which look, I understand, I get it. Uh, but she's cold. 
I'm cold, but like I said earlier, I'm trying not to be affected. Like I'm trying to, I have, you know, my game face on. <laughs> I'm not allowing the circumstances or even her to to affect me or or to shake me. So she's she's cold and I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm just thinking in my head, well, you wanted to do this outside. So this, look, look, let's get it done. Not only that, but the probably the, the more challenging part of, of the situation was, you know, you deal with people with diff different kind of personalities and just some of the questions that she was asking me were just like, okay, I, I get it. People are apprehensive about these kinds of things, right? It had been, it had been a long time since she refinanced or purchased a property. So she was just, I guess, asking questions, right? Um, and I've had people ask me these type of questions before, but she asked me like, I felt like she kept asking me. So <clears throat> she asked me things like, you know, um, I had to take a copy of her, take a photo of her, their IDs. Are you gonna delete those pictures? That's what she said. I said, yeah, I, I will delete them as soon as I, uh, as I can print out a copy and drop it with your, your package. Um, but that's why I ask people to have a copy ready. You didn't have a copy ready. So I will delete them, yes, as soon as I drop off your package. <clears throat> so I guess fair question, right? I mean, people don't want their, their identification floating around, okay? Then she asked me, um, you know, do you keep a copy of my documents? And I said, well, in this case, I do have to scan them, uh, scan them back, but after that, no, I don't keep a copy of your documents laying around. I, I, I shred any, any hard, you know, copies that I may have, uh, but these go right back to the lender in the morning. And so she's like, well, when are you going to drop them? I'm like, well, in your package is a copy of the FedEx label. It's now like 730. At this point, I said, we're past FedEx's last drop time. So I'm gonna have to drop it off in the morning, but you have a label, a copy of the label, so that if you would like to track the package, you're more than you're more than welcome to to track the package. I'm gonna drop it off as soon as I can in the morning. <clears throat> then she asks, "Well, how are you gonna secure my documents?" In the meantime, I said, I, "I secure them right here in my bag. They remain locked in my bag." And so she's like, "Okay." We keep signing, and then she says. Um, so you're gonna secure the documents in your bag, and I'm kind of paraphrasing her, uh, but are you gonna leave your bag in your car? <laughs> so at this point, it's become like four, five, six questions I feel like that she's asking me, trying to make sure that I'm going to keep her information safe. And, and so yes, they stay secured in my bag, in my office. I drop them off first thing in the morning. Again, my, her, her questioning was a little was a little annoying and it started to become maybe a little overboard I feel and I understand like people we live in a society that you know there's a lot of um, you know scammers and real foul people in the world so so I get it um, but at the end of the day as a notary, I am essentially a, a, a representation of the state, a public official of the state, in a sense, commissioned to do this, right? I'm not just some Joe Schmo that's coming to you with some documents and telling you to sign them. It was, it was, it became a little annoying, not, not just the environment, but also kind of dealing with her, her questioning. And at the end of the day, you know, we know, we know as notary loan signing agents that we're we're trying to help people. Like we are not trying, we are helping people complete a very important process for them. Um, and that process just has certain steps that are unavoidable, like, you know, walking around with people's documents, not casually, obviously, but carrying people's documents around, having to mail them, having to print them out, all these things that we have to do, right? Um, but we're, we're helping people um, in, in, in this business. So I say all that to say that you're going to have situations like that where the circumstances are less than ideal, either whether it be the environment or it be 
the signer, the person that you're, the human being that you're, you're dealing with. You're gonna encounter these kinds of situations. So if you don't perform well as an individual under pressure or under less than ideal circumstances or dealing with people that may be a little difficult, you know, either that's something you can work on as a, as a, as a notary or as a loan signing agent or just as a professional, or it's something you just don't have to, you don't have to do. You don't have to be in this business. Right. Um, but I'm sharing my story so that people can, the, the, the story of that specific situation so that people are aware of the kinds of situations that, that you will, you will encounter. Right. It's great to make you know, videos about, you know, you know, training and all these other different things that, that you need, but there's going to, you're going to encounter some situations that you maybe didn't prepare or you didn't train for, uh, especially dealing with, with other human beings. So I hope this story was helpful, uh, in some way, shape or form to you and that you'll get some value for, and that you'll just be aware and that you'll know how to mentally prepare for, these types of situations when, when they come along and you'll know how to function and you'll know how to operate in these kinds of situations. So again, hope you got value from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.